fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Alive, it's alive. Welcome to the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making fun. With your host, Parker. Featuring the sultry sounds of Fred and also Alan on the board. And now, let's start the damn show. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the 126th episode of the BLC Podcast. And Jeeves' favorite podcast. Oh, that's Jeeves, all right. Yeah. That's Jeeves? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's Jeeves, yeah, it's his favorite yeah, podcast. Back. We're, we're so, yeah, thanks for, I know we had to repeat it three fucking times. <laughs> we're so glad you joined us, and we can't thank you enough for your support on X, Facebook, Instagram, and apparently TikTok. You can always check us out at blcpodcast.com and listen to us every day on your favorite podcast platforms. And don't forget to like, follow, and share to appease our future AI overlords. All hail Sizzlepuss. And now, let me welcome the man that makes all the robots say, aye, it's Fred. <laughs> oh, Don't you think Sizzlepuss would be a great name for like the AI overlord? Because he stays left, even my thinking is like all mid. If they were like, if they just put up, if you just put an ad, like we just put an ad up right now that just said yeah. sizzle puss, sizzle puss. Like every, every dude would be like, I gotta check that out. Yeah. <laughs> every girl would be like, oh, What's this bitch's problem? <laughs> That's how they would take over the world. God damn, sizzle puss. They're like, I knew it. That fucking sizzle puss. <laughs> and as always, the guy that keeps us smiling. And smelling farts, it's yes, Alan OGB. Yeah. Thank, you, thank you, thank you. I'm really working on taking that uh, mantle from Alan on that because I did eat Taco Bell for lunch. So, <laughs> <laughs> not the smiling part, the other part. So, welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. We're well, so glad you're shit. with us. <laughs> what? what? Welcome okay? to the shit. Oh, oh. Welcome to the shit. Don't forget. That's Welcome my catchphrase. I know. I see it in in multiplex here. Look at that. Yeah, right. yeah, there it is. Back there too. Yeah. Right. Enjoy the show in within the show within the yeah. show. You can name what gotta, shows on behind me. Keep my Not head to the name of the show, right. which episode it is. Then you'll win. Uh, what what episode is this? I can't. I just said if you tweet the show and tell us what episode it is, I will oh, give what, you a present. What episode is this? What, this one. This one. This right is the Black Collective Podcast. <laughs> Which episode? Oh, episode number one hundred and twenty-six. Then this that is, is the name of it. One twenty-two. No, <laughs> it's really not. No, that's like ninety something. That's like Aww. okay. Sorry, guys. No. If you've already, if you haven't tweeted, no, that, that's right because it got the shit show thing on it. So yeah, this, right. was, this was last week's show. Yeah, <laughs> 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 no, I, think I, I thought I'd throw you a curveball just by last week's show in the background. That way, it, it's, it doubles the views automatically. See, friend, <laughs> I'm trying to appease our AI overlords in uh, or, or Collins Fort, Iowa, or wherever they are. That <laughs> show over. Thank you all, everyone that's, who's listening. All the robots that's who are I got listening. Missile follows it. Yeah, well, thanks. Thank you to all the robots who are listening in Collins, whatever Iowa. We love you. I mean, robot. Joan stuff. Collins, Iowa. That's right, Collins, Iowa. Whatever it is. Well, Fred, we're back. Yes, man. We're better we're than back. ever. I'm so happy. I'm glad. You know, are last you? week people probably don't know this unless they're watching they the behind us. Mm -hmm. Last week you were distraught. I was distraught because your your lovely wife loves me. Great lady probably a saint because she puts up with your ass yeah decided you. that she was going to try and make a, make a run for it <laughs> and from what i understand she made it all the way to spain before they brought her back she went over to europe <laughs> she went over there to europe and, and then figured figured out she couldn't make it without me and then came crawling back <laughs> came crawling back to me a long crawl uh, yeah, 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 boy. Yeah. Doggy paddled all the way across yeah, the ocean. Crawling, crawling back. 
<laughs> He's like, baby, please come home. Like, please, honey. Baby. <laughs> baby, that's baby. that's what really happened. I'm like, you know, got their kids. <laughs> like, whatever happens, don't see the bull ride. Yeah, she went ride. over. <laughs> she went over. She went over there for uh, a couple days, four or five days. Uh, she had over a the great world of Spain. Getting married, man. In, in Spain. The, I, I thought it was Seville. Oh. Spain. But come to find out, it's Seville. Oh, I thought it was Spain. Greenville, Spain. Oh, Seville. <laughs> You're like, Simpsonville, Spain? Of course. Yeah. Great point, Spain. That is it's crazy. Seville? Yeah, that Seville. makes sense. I mean, it's Spanish. Yeah, it's Spanish. So. Not a lot Seville. of, like, rules. At this, yeah. Felt Seville. Well, us, now, us stupid yeah, Americans. Yeah, the Seville. Yeah. Of America. They're like, hey, give me a break. That's not how you say it, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Spain. <laughs> give me a break. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Spanish George Lopez for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she had a great time, man. She uh they they had the wedding. Her her cousin is um he's over there. He's uh, he's in the, he's in the service, so he's special forces. Like he's special forces, dude. Like paratrooper. So you can't tell and, us where he was. You shouldn't have probably told us where he was. Then. Uh, no, well, in no. <laughs> I think that part of the job is okay, over. They know where he is. So okay. now he's over there training the Spanish military. Okay. How to jump out of planes? He's like, put the parachute on your back, man. He met his lovely wife. Okay. Over there. You know, and she's from Spain. The she is from Spain. She is from Spain. <laughs> is there something uh, that's not the country? I don't know why it's not the country. Very lovely lady. I haven't formally met her, but sure. like uh, <laughs> during she called, I called her during the wedding. Well, like the reception and all. <laughs> great that. timing. Like, yeah, great timing. Bro. Yeah, no, it was like, yeah. It was like, <laughs> if anybody has any, <laughs> hey, this is Fred. How are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And the pastor in the back's like, oh, give me a break. <laughs> Don't object now, man. Uh, she's a very lovely lady. Uh, I, I got to speak I got to speak to her. Like, you know, my wife, I FaceTimed my wife during the reception right. and, you know, spoke to her cousin and told him congratulations. And then he called his wife over to – Say hello to oh, me. Okay, his new wife. His new <laughs> wife. Yes, he okay. called his new wife over to speak to me. And Jesus, she is lovely. There you go. She That's all you is <laughs> very only friend. Very, very <laughs> lovely. Very lovely lady. Fred would had, subscribe to her if she said she, she was had so only lovely. Friend. My wife would only let me see her for about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Like, hey, well, she snatched the phone back real quick. Well, the friends, I'm sure that your wife realizes your ass is way too lazy to yeah. fly across an ocean. Oh, yeah, just, yeah, just no, to look at a lady. No worries. I mean, well, good for him. She is glad way beyond are... my my level. <laughs> Nothing is beyond she your had, level. Friend. She had she, her wedding dress had this really deep cut, and like, oh, right. oh my god, deep come to cuts. find out. Her mother is what is it? Uh, back in the seventies, she was a, a very famous flamingo dancer. Oh, flamingo! Oh, okay, flamingo dancer. Like she was very oh, successful at sure. that. And they live in the south oh. of Spain. Oh, the the red so, of Spain. No, no, this <laughs> is the that is the like, the south shall rise again, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the north of Spain. You're getting America confused. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Everything is America, Fred. Yeah. Did you realize that yet? No, that, it's, it's, yeah, but I mean. Well, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. Yeah. If they're listening, congratulations on. Congratulations. You know, whatever yeah. secret mission you're on and or. Yeah. Whatever flamingo. Yeah. Man, yeah, yeah, he's on a secret mission. I, I, I love our cousin, man. He, he's, um, he's adopted Russian. Okay. So he still speaks with like that. He's got that accent. Oh, so like, uh, oh, yeah, you, you, you've talked about him before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, this guy, I mean, they're a perfect couple because like this guy's a specimen. I mean, he's sure. like six four, Adonis like dude, like man. He's yeah, just like <laughs> I feel it. I knew it. 
He's the the guy guys expire aspire mm-hmm. to be. Yeah, you know I'm saying you, you get know. that a lot. So yeah, he's great. Um, she told me a little bit about uh, the only thing I knew about Seville was the Baba of Seville, Figaro, Figaro. Figaro. Of course, of course, the only thing you know is some musical bullshit. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. She uh, she made a comment and she said that um, she's like it's crazy they don't celebrate Columbus Day. Yeah, well, why would they? they yeah, I was day. like, why the fuck would they celebrate Columbus Day? And she he's apparently Seville is one of three places he's supposedly buried in. Yeah. Oh damn. So, Y'all like, I, I believe Columbus was was Italian. He was, and I guess no, he, he was died from in Spain, Spain, dude. He was from Spain. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he was from Spain. He was on because I remember. I remember mission for well, the Queen of Spain, right? But I remember in all the history books, he's like, "Give me the pinta, mm-hmm. <laughs> make it a lowrider, <laughs> and the Santa Maria." <laughs> he's like, "Hey, <laughs> they have a replica of the." Pinta, the Nina, the smaller Pinta, than you think it is. I bet it is. It's tiny. It is very tiny. Yeah. Like yeah, I was like, what is that? That looks like Pirates of the Caribbean. It's all black. He was Italian. You're correct. Columbus yeah. was born on the Italian seaport of Genoa in 1451 to a family of wool weavers. A wolf. I, to, thought, yeah, I thought he was going to say wolves too. I was like, wolves. <laughs> to a wool weavers. He went to sea from an early age and was an experienced sailor by his twenties. Oh. There you go. Now that's on, everything I you gotta, need to know about Columbus. You gotta get half naked. This motherfucker's hot. Yeah, dude, it's hot up in here. That's, I had to do the I'm same sorry. thing. It's okay. We don't. Nobody's listening. It's fine. Do whatever the hell you want. Everybody just go about your business. It's not like <laughs> we're know, doing I'm a goddamn show right now in the middle of this. Okay, it's fine. And it's I'm fine. Back. I don't know if you can so, hear that. That was Taco Bell talking. That, that don't make sense because I mean, it's what 19 degrees outside. Man. Yeah, but I got this <laughs> big blast and heater. Yeah, but dude, if you saw if you saw the heat that Fred was packing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, right, it ladies. Was, right, me, Spanish me lady. Thinking about uh, it's probably why your wife uh know. took the camera. She's like, he's about to flash <laughs> junk. <in her. laughs> she saw it like start to tilt down. She's like, no, 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 no. Not again. <laughs> said, you want to say hi to Federico? <laughs> right. yeah. Want to meet little Fred? Uh, <laughs> she said they went out. It was eight of them. And they all went out to eat, and it cost them a little over a hundred dollars for eight American people. Dollars? Damn, uh, civilian or uh, euros? Okay, well I don't but know what still, like a euro. No, great is, deal! What a deal! Yeah, it's just, it's just that's great. You don't tip. You're right. No, it's, it's already included. That's not. Yeah, you don't tip. No. But yeah, taxes. a euro is a dollar and ten cents. So that essentially yeah. costs. Yeah, the tipping and all that—that's just an American thing. Oh, right. Dude, right. Has tipping not gone fucking insane? By the way. Oh, oh insane. Dude, tip everywhere tip. I go, they're like, "You want yeah, to throw a little tip?" And tip. I don't do it. They I won't do tip. it. No. I will no. never cave to their pressure. No. I will tip when tipping is necessary. I will not tip oh. on the takeout order. I will not tip my fucking oil change place. Yeah. No. Fuck that. No, no, I wouldn't tip on that. So, restaurants don't open until eight thirty at night. At night, no wonder everybody's skinny. Uh, uh, because yeah, uh, at the hottest in the hottest time of the year, it's like one hundred three, right? So nobody really goes outside. So yeah. like restaurants don't open until the sun goes down. Sure. And she she was she was saying like she was she, you know my wife like to eat you know and, and, but there's <laughs> well, no there was no there's no uh, she didn't really have anything to eat because right. it's all like she didn't Paint know shit. what to eat yeah, you know yeah. What I mean and, and she's just like it's just not I'm not saying it's not good but it's just not what I want to eat you know well, it's probably a little different <laughs> but I'm like you're in here, yeah. Europe. yeah it is it's no. totally different but I was like if you're in Europe you have to you eat know European when you're in shit. Rome yeah. yeah you do as a Roman right so, <laughs> she's like well I'm in Spain and I can't find a burrito anywhere friend <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she was like all the cars are they're just beat up and banged up and yeah, like dude. if you get into an accident you don't do anything. You nope. just, I was like, yeah, there's no going. insurance. Over there. No one you don't it. have insurance. Yeah. No, no, you don't have right. insurance over there. No. 
But had she injured herself there, she would have gotten taken care of for free. She would have gotten taken care of for free. Yeah. So, I, I told her. I was like, like I would make, take chances, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we can do the pod. I can do the podcast. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's all do the podcast from Spain or anywhere. Yeah. It's not America. Six hour difference. Six hour time difference. Yeah. Hey, that's fine. That's it. That's it. Six that's hours. It. Six hours ahead. Right now yeah. in Spain, it's 13 o'clock. 13 o'clock. That's how, or something. I don't know. What uh, would be so, uh, <laughs> no, it's not one of her like, cousins. Her good. cousin's dad and mom, they went over with her, and you know they were telling her like, tell them all of them. You know, if you're on the street and somebody stops you, you know, and they try to give you flowers, do not take them. You know, That's so really they had to like go inside the store mm-hmm. and like do something. And they, they had to go to a drugstore. Yeah. And if you're not from the country, you can't go in. Okay. So they had to wait outside. <laughs> she said, when they came back outside, her uncle was holding like the flowers. And he was like, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Not to, don't touch the flowers. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, evidently they leave a perfume on you or yeah. either, like they has something on it that'll make you pass out right. and you know they rob you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's how they get you. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that was crazy. Damn. She's like at least they do it in style. You know, yeah, here, right. right. Yeah, they just hit you in the head with a button. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> here they shoot you and take your stuff. Over there, they're yeah. like, here's yeah, here's some flowers. Flowers. Like, that, was, that was another thing. She was like, only the police carry guns. And I was like, Yep. I was yeah, like, man. they'll stab you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are buddy, you remember there. our buddy Alex from the Shrewsbury Biscuit podcast said he got stabbed. Yeah, you know, someone thought he said the N word. Yeah, uh, correctly. <laughs> yep. So there you go. It's crazy, man. Well, I'm glad she had a good trip. I'm glad she got she back safely. She got yeah. home safely. That's what yeah. it's all about. So she and they got in. married. They both said yes. Yes. Uh-huh. And then it. it was crazy during the reception. Like you know, oh, I mean, the reception maybe like they had like a club going on. Oh, yeah. And then she showed me like he was dancing and he was doing the the Russian. Oh, like, yeah. He was doing you. that oh, shit. Damn. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> that's worth the trip right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was worth the whole trip. He was doing man, that Man, get him shit. on the show. Oh, I was like, that's so awesome. If we get him on the show, we can use a fake name and that way he's, you know, he yeah, remains yeah. anonymous. Yeah. Put the robot yeah. voice on him or something. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Give him like, that's for Danya, comrade. That's for Danya. I don't even know what that yeah, means. I really don't even. Does that mean have a good day? I don't know. I don't know. If anyone yeah, speaks wanna, Russian, tell us what that means. I want to. I want to go. Like, I, well, she said we're gonna like go back because he has. Uh-huh. He still has like another couple years there with the um, with the army poor guy. Yeah, and uh, yeah, poor dude. <laughs> and uh, but she said we're gonna try to go back over there. She's, yeah, you know, I, I'd love to go. Let's go. Go and do it. I'm in. They ain't ready. Put me for in me your either. suitcase. They're not ready for me. <laughs> no, they're not. They're like, oh, it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's one thing that America and Europe have in common. <laughs> yeah, they, they ain't ready for me. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want anything to do with that. Ready, have I love New York T-shirt on. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> like if it's not cowboy American, boots. kiss my ass. Yeah. Cowboy boots on. Yeah. No. <laughs> cut off <laughs> jean shorts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like a, shirt, a shirt with like skulls that says like "Let freedom ring." Yeah. <laughs> and a, I had a big boom box. Go to yeah. two step and cowboy boogie. <laughs> nothing, nothing with sleeves. Yeah. Nothing with sleeves, Fred. The whole yeah. time. You got a big old chaw. You like pick up dipping. Yeah. Right? You're like, hi, howdy. <laughs> They'd love you, actually. Uh, if you were like, if you played like the rich Texan style character, yeah. you're just like, oh, hey, yeah. Like, this howdy. guy's fucking awesome. They'd be like, hey, what's up with him? She, uh, <laughs> my wife, she, she drinks, but she's not like a huge drinker. Right. And um, she said she was over there, you know, during the reception at the bars and everything. She's like, I was just knocking them back. She said, I wasn't getting drunk. She's yep. like, I wasn't getting drunk. Like, she was like, There's, something's wrong. Come to find out, their liquor is half the proof sure. of the liquor in America. I was <laughs> like, that's sense. crazy. They, it's responsible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Way yes. more responsible. They, well, if they it's only, cheaper, but it's probably cheaper, too. So it's probably yeah. like evens out. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. that she way you can drink they, all uh, night. When they ordered drinks, like they would come over with the bottle yeah. and pour it at your table. And she she Classic. found that weird. 
And she was like, well, it's, and they told her it's to make sure that nobody puts anything in your drink. Sure. Yeah. She was like, well, what if they put it in the bottle? I was like, eh. <laughs> quit overthinking America, this. They do that. Yeah. They're, like, they're like, quit overthinking this and take a flower. Yeah. <laughs> like, shut up, bitch. Take this flower. I thought I thought I was gonna have to pull one of the the uh the, a taken. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know hey, anything about you, and you I don't have her, a but... <laughs> I don't have a specific set of skills. But I'm American, so I have hundreds of guns. Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh shit. Just please give me my wife back. These kids are killing me. Yeah, right. Like, come and take the kids with her, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the dude be like, "Oh, she got kids. I am sorry. I am yeah. sorry. She's on <laughs> <all> her <laughs> way back." <laughs> like, we let her go now. We let her go now. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna pick her up at the Christopher code. Columbus Museum. <laughs> Broke man <code. laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad she had a great time, and it yeah. makes me happy that you didn't die. Yeah, and I'm sure yeah. it surprised her that you didn't die. Honestly, <laughs> right. She's no, I told her. I had, I, man, me and the kids were good, man. We, oh, dude, no, that's yeah. We we were good. Don't tell my wife who does listen to the show. Yeah, but like I know that she feels all the time like without her, like the whole thing falls apart. Mm-hmm. And to an extent, it does. Make no mistake, right? Like, but it falls apart in a fun way. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, sure, eat ice cream for breakfast. Sure, who yeah. needs to take a bath? Like, <laughs> let's go. Like, oh, you want to you want to paint the cat? Paint the cat. Paint the cat. <laughs> like do what you gotta do, kids. Yeah. Dad's not dad doesn't care. Dad checked out five years ago. <laughs> like, dad checked out between the second and third one. You're raising <laughs> yourselves. Right. I'm like, yeah, exactly. I'm like, we that's how we were but we were raised. Yeah. Like just figure it out. I'll be back in six hours. I locked the door, the dead boy. You can't yeah, unlock I wanna get, yep. wanna get cigarettes and milk. Right. <laughs> Like talking to visit my dad who also disappeared. So now now I know where exactly where he is. Anywhere yeah. we well, like I said, the main thing is I'm glad that you guys had a good time or you yeah. didn't sort of had a good yeah. time. And she made it back. And then you can be like, Hey honey, did you do all the stuff while you she was gone? Did you like do the laundry, the house cleaning, oh, yeah. Yeah. all that shit? I mean so when she as came back, much as was, I could. Yeah. Like the big shit, like I wasn't doing that. I wasn't touching that big shit. Like yeah. that's her shit. It's so, like she has yet to start on that, so that's fine. It's not a, none of your business. So it's still waiting on her. <laughs> and that's exactly like, honey. Look, I made sure this is still waiting on you. Yeah, like, I didn't want you to feel bad. Uh, yeah. I, I left it just like you left. No, it, I, when my wife is gone. I will absolutely bust my ass to get everything done. Yeah, just so when she gets back, and I know it, it's a it's mutually beneficial. So when right, she, gets yeah, back, yeah, she doesn't yeah. have to worry about it. And when she gets back, I can be like. Oh, oh I'm just, sorry. Is everything done in the house? Somehow, right. magically? Rub it in her face. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I didn't even notice that we did everything. <laughs> yeah. And then and the kids are like, Daddy, let us eat our own poop. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. Don't, tell that. <laughs> like, don't tell them that. <laughs> uh, I was not telling nobody. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Like I said, I'm super happy that everybody made it. I can't wait for the show to take our talents to Rome yeah, or to Spain, Rome. wherever. Rome's on Spain. To take our right. talents. To several little Spain. Seville. 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 We can go visit the whole of Europe. Did she go anywhere else in Europe? Or did she just, I mean, I guess she kind of yeah, just, she's just there. Yeah, she's See, just that's there. where she I would have be like, time. yeah, I guess this year kind of, right, yeah. see, I would feel bad if I went all the way over there. That's like, that's like going all the way to the fucking grocery store right. for milk and being like, well, eggs were one aisle over, so I didn't get any. I mean, because like, yeah. I think Paris was only like five hours away. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that would have been really right. cool. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like going all the way just to be like, but it was just a little bit too far. Like, yeah. you went all the way to the store. Yeah. You could have gone over <laughs> one aisle. Yeah, you could have went to the dairy aisle. Right. Exactly. Exactly. You know I mean? exactly. <laughs> so, I feel it. I mean, that, but, you know, yeah. at the same time, you, you can only do what you can do. So, you can only do what you can do, yeah. Well, I, like I said, I'm glad yeah. you had fun. Congratulations to the newlyweds. We'll yeah. take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more of the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. The Black Lincoln Collective Podcast will return after a word from our sponsors. 
Okay, everybody, it's Michael E. Cullen II. And I'm Sesame and Carta from the All Too Real 2 podcast. We're passionate about movies, TV, and pretty much all things pop culture. Dive into the chaos of failed sitcoms, direct-to-video sequels, and the quirky realms of cinema and TV. Join us every Thursday for your dose of All Too Real 2 entertainment. We'll guide you through the debates like whether Howard the Duck qualifies as a superhero. Ponder if Larry the Cable Guy could be the new rock or Schwarzenegger. Discover if some shows and movies should have stayed in the cutting room. Ever heard of a sitcom featuring that dictator with the funny mustache? Well, we watched it. We're dedicated to unraveling the peculiarities of pop culture, sometimes with awesome guests. So, if you're into the eccentric world of pop culture, listen and subscribe to All Too Real 2. Available wherever you find podcasts and on Age of Radio. We are so glad you stuck with us through that break. I don't know what advertisers we paid to where they paid us to do it. Probably something weird. So, but listen, listen and subscribe to it, whatever it is. It is. Why not? Sure. Why not? Tell them Freddie sent you. That's right. Tell them yeah. Fred said. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Fred said, <laughs> buy this pimple cream. <laughs> From Activision or whatever. Doctor Pimple so. Papa's Papa Cream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you ever watch that? Do you ever watch yeah. Doctor Pimple? Oh. I I do. It's so disgusting, but it, I can't. But I love it. I can't. I love it. Yeah, I love it. See, like oh. my mom used to. And then, like literally, when I was a teenager, she would pin me down and like pop oh. pimples on my face. Yeah, and I hated it so much. Right. But now, like, I, like oh, I'm kind of addicted to it. Like, especially like when they get the blackheads and they oh. get in there. Like and then, pink, man. Then they get it out and it just starts. Yeah. Oh, it's like one oh. of those little worms. Oh, oh. So gross. Oh. It, it is. It is so gross. And the whole Fucking time, I'm like, uh, there's yeah. like a part of me, like half of me is the, like, yeah. The good ones also, are like the three parters, like you know, and they're they're all like ten minutes long. And oh, I got I can't. I got to It I makes gotta, me. It's like it unlocks a new fear because, yeah. like, I'm like, how do I have like a cavern of shit somewhere on my face that's oh, like probably. miles deep that I don't probably. know about? Yeah. No, I don't. The back only this. Are, the back ones are only my ones. mouth is, is a pile of shit that smiles deep. <laughs> but it the makes back, it, the back ones are the best. The big oh, back ones. Oh. No, I did have one of those. And I had to get it cut out. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah that was fun. Good times. Make so yeah, no, I just it it grossed me out. Like I said, so I'm happy that it's uh, that it exists. So imagine that, man. Imagine like who'd have thought that this lady would have been like, "Hey, you know what? I'm going to start videotaping me popping these nasty ass pimples, yeah. and I'm going to make millions of dollars off of it. Yeah, and people will come seek me out. Yep, so that I can pop their shit. Mm-hmm. And then you can let it. Get. You've got so many copycats. Yeah, that do the same thing, and they I'm, they don't make as much as her, but they like, still get paid. They still get paid. I'm Mr. It's Pimple Popper. Yeah. It's like the, it's like the Dr. Daddy, Pepper and Mr. Daddy, P- Daddy Pipe Pimple Popper. <laughs> Mr. Pimp. <laughs> Mountain Pimple Popper. <laughs> there you go. Yellow Lightning, the pimple, or whatever. Yeah. What's, the fucking, what's the shitty Mountain Lightning? The wall, yeah, Mountain Lightning. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what those are. Those are off-brand sodas, kids. Just so yeah. you know. So, well, <laughs> Fred, oh, I wish that there were more sports like pimple <laughs> popping. Imagine that being a, a sport. Ugh, oh, I just can't again, and I hate to go back because I was trying to segue, but I want to go back because I need to talk about this. <laughs> Who? Well, no, like okay, yeah, again, we were talking about this. I mean, I have you know again the face of a Greek god. Yeah, it's made yes. of marble entirely. Um, but I don't understand how you can let it. Like, if you have some weird it's shit, big, yeah, yeah. Like, how yeah. could you let it, like, you know, like, have you ever seen, and like, sorry to be gross, kids, like, where they, they do, like, they lance, like, a boil on, like, a cow or a horse, uh-huh. 
and like they they like stab it a little bit because they have like the thing the growth and then it just like shoots yeah Yeah. like how can like that's we know that's got to hurt the horse how does a person who has the ability to reason be like oh this is normal it's a humongous fucking ball (laughs) on my head it's probably fine until the point where they're like hey uh well it it all goes back to healthcare, man that's true like It all goes it back America. People, no, they're probably like, hey, if I don't deal with it, it yeah, I can't afford to kill go me. to the doctor and That's true. get him to squeeze it out. You know what I mean? I, he, some people probably try to do it themselves. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Oh, and I try to can't. do it. Oh, man. Yeah. You know no, what I'm saying? I, see, I'm crazy. Like, yeah, that. yeah. I just oh, be yeah. like, let's I, see what happens. Put me, put me. <laughs> get a syringe and suck that shit out. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a flab just <laughs> no, I got some duct tape. We're good. Don't worry about go it. Go to Hobby Lobby, get you an exacto knife. Yeah, yeah. Like, one of these is, uh, which one of these is best for lancing? And they're like, yeah. uh, what? <laughs> I'm like, sir, this is a Walmart. I'm like, well, why not? Do it in the bathroom. You want the two inch blade, not the four inch blade. <laughs> you want the classical Dr. Pimple Bobber endorsed lancing blade. <laughs> it's Don't the poppies. Dr. Pimple latex gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Get the whole Pimple Bobber set for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Only available on Black Friday, Blackhead Friday. Yeah, Blackhead Black Friday. Friday. <laughs> Black Friday. You know, that might end up being the name of the show today now that I think about it. <laughs> <But>. <laughs> <laughs> so well sorry to transition to something completely different but alan okay. brought to us a special Ooh. news sports news edition of sports news oh, sports okay hold on a second sports news sports. that's right okay what is it you guys can get it or not i, I can get it this time sports sports, sports. Oh, i was a little <laughs> early we all failed miserably perfect once again so alan Alan, it's time for Alan on sports. Have you, uh, no, I was uh, talking about it, uh, asking you guys, have you guys seen that new um, women's uh, hockey league? No, no, women's hockey league? Yes, no. it's like the uh, NHL. Tell me more. And bikinis. No, no, no. Are I they mean, in Are they in lingerie or no? No, no, it's like regular hockey. They oh, just man. beat the shit out of each other. Yeah. Are they transes? No, no, they're there. And actually, it was kind of weird because I, I was watching it. Or the trans. And they were showing a couple of the chicks just going on the thing, and I was looking, and I was like, "Man, I feel kind of funny because you know <laughs> I've never been sexually attracted to all of them. You know, like Zach Brannigan with uh, with with Leela. What's and, happening in my pants? What's yeah. happening? And then when he found out it was a chick, he's like, "Oh, thank God!" Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. And of course, Alan's talking about the PWHL, which is the professional P- professional women's hockey league. They're badass, man. You know, nope. if yeah. anybody get a chance to watch it, you should. Professional Women's Hockey League. Yes. Yep. Who just? <laughs> I oh, wow. football, okay. I remember they had the lingerie league in football. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's that was, that's that's wicked awesome. Yeah, that was. Yeah, I do cool. remember that. So on January seventeenth, the PWHL released a statement. I don't understand what it's about, but Alan might know. The post-game handshake line, which has been an on-ice fixture following PWHL games, will resume with tonight's contest in Ottawa and Oh, that's what the the, the goalies, yeah, when the goalies got into it. Tuesday night, a miscommunication caused handshakes not to be conducted following the game between New York and Montreal. The game, we regret this lapse in protocol and apologize for any confusion it may have caused our fans. God forbid a woman confuse people. (laughs) <laughs> with her actions just saying well that's awesome so so is it televised somewhere can i watch it where can i watch it at? um i watched i watched it on uh what is it ms to be no no it's on, uh, Nessun, uh, oh, okay it's, it's on nesson which is the yeah. northeast sports network North and, and madison square garden network as well yeah. bali sports uh that's pretty interesting and it, it's good. It. I mean, if you like hockey, it's good hockey. It's yeah. Uh, it's not fundamental crap like the WNBA. It's actual hockey. Do they have, like are, are the chicks like missing teeth? Like uh, I, I wouldn't doubt it. No, I mean, the, I, way they, the way they hit each other. The way they hit each other. I mean, and they fight. Yeah. All right, Fred. I'm gonna pull up uh, one of the 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 cover of their fate of their thing, and you can probably see the ladies on here. Let's see if I can yeah, zoom in a little bit. No, I can't. So can't zoom in, but you can see there's some lovely ladies. They all look like they would kick my ass in a second. Yes, they, they do. Man. They look like they are 
hockey ladies, no doubt yeah. about it. Uh, yeah. Maybe I mean, not. I like hockey, and 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 it's it's. I mean, it's like it. it, it they all look like Edwin McCain. <laughs> what? I'm a big fan of Brace <laughs> Zabunkel. Edwin McCain. <laughs> yeah, that's Edwin McCain. <laughs> <laughs> They look tough as nails, long hair. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> look, that one in the, the one in the middle with the long hair is like, yeah, no, I get it. I can see it. I can see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't want all did. the last person I want to insult is anyone from the PWHL. <laughs> because again, they will kick our asses. <laughs> yes, they will. But make no mistake. Put, put we could probably get one there. of them on the show. It's. I mean, it's it's good hockey. It's good hockey. You, you, it if, if anybody likes hockey, you know, you should watch it. We will it's watch okay. it. Oh, the coaches are ladies too. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, this lady is old. Good Should her. have had Tom Hanks from League of Their Own. He might be. He I might be in season two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like I feel like hockey girls are very much not. Oh yeah, League not of crazy. Their Own. <laughs> Where hockey girls are like, let's go beat those bitches' asses. Yeah. They're like, okay, calm down. Don't bring a knife on the hockey rink. Let's beat these bitches. Like you can't bring yeah. two knives. You can only bring the ones that are literally strapped to your feet. Yeah, that's, it. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's crazy, guys. Well, let me tell you this, and this might be controversial, but, but. remember that segment we were going to do every week, and we just did it once. Oh, that's right. It's like every segment that we've ever done on this show, except for Fred. Like, <laughs> so, this might be controversial, but Fred, but emotional support animals are bullshit. Okay. I saw a commercial yesterday that was like, oh, do you want an emotional support animal? Do you need, do you want to, so it was like, you know how you have like, um, like the, what do you call like the actual ones that help people? Yeah. Yeah. Service animal. Like, yeah. Service animal. They're like, do you love your animal? But like, you don't want them to have to go through the months, the rigorous months of training to be a service animal. Seriously. I shit you not. It's called like ESA.com or whatever. Yeah. And it was like, oh, just fill out this form and they can become an emotional support animal, which means you can take them anywhere. Yeah. Which proves to me, not that I didn't already know this, but right. it further proves to me that it's bullshit. Well, well see, that sucks because pe a lot of people actually need the support animal and this is well, ruining it for them. If you need, well, I mean, I'm not saying like you can't have one. It's whatever. It's your right. life and, you know, your fucking weird story that you're living in. But like, it's just. Uh, okay, who needs an emotional support animal, Alan? Let me ask you that. Since you say so many people need it, who exactly needs it? Well, my I didn't daughter, expect that question. I have no idea. <laughs> my, my daughter had a tonsil taken out right. last week. <laughs> right. And before, they brought in a long-haired collie. Right. I thought that was a sanitary. Yeah, you're bringing that long haired dog in yep. so into a hospital area, right? When my daughter was diagnosed with diabetes, with type one diabetes. <laughs> so when my, when my daughter got diagnosed and was had to spend time in the hospital too, same thing. They brought in now in that situation in the hospital for a kid, right? That is not bold. That's not the same thing as. Your your aunt or whatever who's like oh right. without jingle no, see, but that's I not an emotional support animal that's yeah. not but that's, that's what it is that's what they're signing them up for that was the whole point of the commercial was if you want to make your fucking pet chihuahua an emotional yeah. support animal so you can take it wherever you go just yeah. fill out this handy dandy form we'll send no, you a certificate that says I'm I not just a piece of no. shit come on you take my dog everywhere why is this bullshit. Yeah, you know. I think it's bullshit. I, we was at a restaurant one time, and, and a lady had a pug in there. Yeah. I was like, idea. come on, man. Come She's on. You're like feeding them shit? I'm yeah, like, oh, I'm trying to eat my food. Actually, tortillas. I was thinking more like blind people. That's what I no, was thinking. No, no, no. no those, <laughs> those are those actual are, support. Aid. Those are, yeah. yeah those that's are, not, that's not the same thing. That's a that's not emotionally supported. Right. Those, that's are that's those are well-trained, thoroughly trained animals that help them live their lives. Yeah, they got to go through training right. before, right. before you can get one of them dogs. You know what I'm saying? Right. And they're specifically designed to do yeah. that. You just can't be blind walking a lab. The <laughs> 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 lab going to pull you off in the traffic and you're going <laughs> to I didn't want to wait six months for an actual support good boy, dog. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> I got this emotional support cat. 
Yeah. <laughs> it just, leads me, just leads me in circles all the time. Yeah, you get the paper from the internet. It should work. <laughs> yeah, it's all it takes. No, I, but yeah, no, I, I have no pro- service animals. That's a whole different thing. I don't care if like if you got a service animal, you know, God willing, they 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 do everything they can do. Great things, great invention, super helpful. Right. Emotional support animals, bullshit. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm caring. Yeah, right. Because what what emotions are you feeling at the goddamn taco restaurant? <laughs> what emotions can you not handle about tacos? Uh, <laughs> I, I, do you really want to know? Oh, do you have emotions <laughs> about tacos, Alan? Of course I do. I love tacos. Negative emotions? <laughs> you know, no one needs a support animal that's just like it just pumps me up. Like this dog just this makes dog, me feel better. Yeah. Eat them, uh, eat them, eat them all. Eat them all, man. A little chihuahua's like, give me a break, give me a taco. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't pull that shit in Spain, Fred. Yo, quiero taco bell. Yeah. yeah. No, uh-uh. He's like, no, I wanted, <laughs> I wanted a burrito. <laughs> anyway, no, I just sorry for being controversial, guys. But I just had to I had to say my piece because it's been pissing me off. No, I get it. I mean so, yeah. So did you get the form for one of your docs? No, fuck that, dude. I'm never gonna do that. <laughs> I mean, it's on the internet. I figured you would. You yeah, do everything long, else. No, long, oh, but you know what? Now, now that you mention it though, that does remind me of one of the sponsors of tonight's this might be controversial segment, Ooh-hoo. slash the only sponsor. Well, Pat Marker. Know. Freelance street herbalist. With this week's Pat Markers Freelance Street Herbalist Tip of the Week. Hey, kids, do you have a hiatal hernia, which is when part of your stomach squeezes up into the chest through an opening, a hiatus, in the diaphragm? If you do, the Pat Marker Tip of the Week is stick some anise in your anus. It'll take care of it for you quick. That's been Pat Markers. Freelance street herbalist tip of the week. Oh, well, a noose in your anus. In your anus. Anus? I had a listener, not to be named, uh, talk to me last week. They they mentioned to me that last week when I talked about being an herbalist, first of all, they didn't think I was going to do it, and they right. were dead wrong, personally, because <laughs> it's happening. Secondly, they were like, "Oh, you kept naming things that weren't herbs <laughs> throughout the rest of the show," and it pissed me off. And I was like, "That's the joke." I'm a, I'm a freelance herbalist. Cream of tartar is the herb. Sorry. Yeah, cream of tartar. <laughs> cream of tartar <laughs> in your <laughs> something <laughs> in your brown star. <laughs> it has to make sense. It has to work. That's the only. That's the only kind of herb, comedy herbalist to the star. I just, I, I just, I just found out recently that the uh, chocolate starfish was a butthole. Oh, you didn't know? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know what little bit biscuit was talking about. Really. What's the hot dog flavored water? That's literally just hot dog water. Is it? <laughs> so you're putting hot dog water on your butthole? Is that yeah, people used that? to? They used to. Because that was the name of the album. Right. I can start hot, fishing the hot dog flavored water. Yeah. I think hot dog flavored water is just hot. Is just that. It's hot dog water? Yeah. It's the, you know, because remember back in the day before people had grills, they would boil their hot dogs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that water I was hot gross. Dog. I did too. I like to do that and then put them on the grill so they explode and scare the shit out of me. Uh, it's good stuff. Yeah. It's the best of both worlds. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know what hot dog. Let me let's look up. Let's let's visit our friends at urbandictionary.com. Cuckoo. Once again, not helping my algorithm. Uh, hot dog water. Hot dog flavored water. Oh, hot dog flavored water. Meaning hot dog. Flavored water. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, oh, hot dog flavored water is street for skeet. Ah, uh, male semen. Yes. Apparently, I don't know who this person is, but Stephanie loves it when Chris. (laughs) This is what it says. This I'm reading it off the website. Stephanie. Loves it when Chris gives her the daily dose of hot dog flavored water. Skeet, skeet. <laughs> that's what it says. That's from 2005. Exactly. Yep. That's my uh, right. We, this is now, chocolate yeah. starfish. Hot <laughs> there you go. Putting there we go. Uh, hot dog water in the That was the name of the album. All for the, the Nookie album. All for the Nookie. Now, now we know what it means. <laughs> oh, here's an alternate. Here's an alternate one. Uh-oh. 
It could be that when you take a poop and the surrounding water turns a brownish color, this is hot dog flavored water. Yeah, that don't make sense. Oh, yeah, when you got the when you got loose stool. Oh, okay. Well, Fred, because yeah. you asked, mm-hmm. kids, cover your ears. I think I'm so, sorry. I'm not gonna be sorry. I, also feel sorry that you asked because I have to read this now because I have a journalistic integrity and and I don't have a choice. Let the people know. Yeah, that's why I'm giving you stop the show at 44 minutes and skip to 44 minutes and 30 seconds, please. Okay, Alan, get ready for it with something to censor this. We're gonna need it. So hot dog flavored water or the stock chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water breaks down to this. This is when you take God, I don't want to say this. Okay, so a chocolate starfish is the outer edges of a woman's butthole, butthole. right? Yeah. You got that. Hot dog flavored water, according to this, is what a man tastes while licking and sucking a woman's <laughs> vagina. Nope. Missed it. A woman's vagina after he oh, does things to her. After he enjoys himself in, into them. Yes. <laughs> Perfect, perfect musical choice. So, so, uh, so, Fred. According to this guy, and we're just going to probably cut all this out. Uh, keep fast forwarding, kids. Uh, the starfish and the hot dog flavored water is when you take the semen from your girl's lady parts and transfer it out to lubricate your woman's rear end, and then you stick your hot dog in her. Chocolate starfish. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. So that's what Lip Biscuit was talking about all those years ago. <laughs> this was the early days of the internet. So, like, yeah, so it's real. I don't know. It's real. Like, I always wondered what it was, but like I said, we I didn't you, really we, have a lot we of can internet catch a, back then. Catch a scammer, and that's no so, scam. <laughs> skeet, skeet. <laughs> oh skeet skeet oh skeet skeet gosh darn it that's dog dog <laughs> all right on that note so that we could cut all this for time this is going to be coming this is a bonus part of the no, show no, i'm gonna get out of it i'm, not no, I'm gonna get the fuck out of it though because yeah, i don't want people yeah. like with me talking about starving we'll take a quick break no why would we take yeah, a break for because i had to He's not the host. No, we ain't taking no break. We don't we need, need to transition to the next thing. No, we don't. We don't need to go nowhere. We well, don't need to do anything. The Black Lincoln Collective Podcast will return after a word from our sponsors. Welcome back to the Black Lincoln Collective <laughs> Podcast. I wasn't looking at the screen, so I didn't know when it started. That's fine. <laughs> fine. After that last bit of <laughs> fucking whatever that was. Information. Oh, we probably should have just shut the damn thing down for the day. Information is what it I is. don't know if you want to call it that. People need to know. That's fake news. <laughs> the realest thing you ever get. Speaking of news, no, if, it's not, it, fake. if that's the realest thing you ever get, I don't even know. I don't even fucking have anything to say about this. So, guess what, kids? It's time for oh. technically news. Technically. In music? No. Why would we? But is it? Burp, burp. You guys did the. I do nothing, Alan. Haven't you realized that yet? Technically news. Technically news. It's tech. No. All right. I'll get you some technically news right here. Okay, here we go. Hi, it's your friend Elon Musk. It's technically news. That's right. There's nothing. Whenever I hear this music, I think of chocolate starfishes in the hot dog. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, nothing, nothing says Ireland like those things. <laughs> so, so, in technically news news mm-hmm. this week, that's right, a mountain of used clothes appeared in Chile's desert, and then it magically went up in flames. Yeah. Have you heard of this, Alan? I heard about this. No, I haven't. Heard about it? I, haven't heard about I heard about it. it. I heard about it. Yeah, it's a real thing. Yeah. On it's the morning name. of June 12th, 2022, Angela Astulio, then a law student in her mid-20s, grabbed her while this comes to us, courtesy of our friends at Wired.com. Wired.com. Wired. It's Wired. Cannot, not accessible through Wi-Fi. So, 
All right. I thought that was funny. It's not. It's fine. I get it. She grabbed her water bottle and hopped into her red Nissan Juke. Not a sponsor. Oh. Co-founder of Dress Desert or Desierto Vestido, a textile recycling advocacy nonprofit and the daughter of three farmers, of tree farmers, not three farmers. Three that farmers. Would be, that, right. that would be weird. Yeah, uh, out went out to the desert where she found a million things of clothes. I'm going to summarize this because it's still it's a lot. And then, and then they were on fire. Yeah. Because so apparently these, all of these designers and like, I guess what clothiers, clothers, whatever you would call those people who make clothes, clothing, uh, clothiers. Yeah. Have been dumping their extra shit in the desert and burning it. Yeah. Because they don't want to just give it away because then that would devalue the value of the shit that they've already sold. Make sense, Alan? What? I mean, really? Yeah. Really. So instead of giving it away, the they just burnt it. Why can't they just give it to the little African kids? Because they don't want African kids. Because the African Louis kids Vuitton. are the ones that are making it. Right. And then the African. That's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, I, I did put a note of help in this one. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, I know that said help. <laughs> right, in the back. Of it. It's in it's between. It's no, small. dude, I think that's, I mean, of course, I understand. I get, I, okay, let me, let me very carefully choose my words on this. Capitalism. Boom. I understand their reasoning. However, I very much disagree with it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's what we got. How could, you agree with it? how could you agree with that? I don't know, but how could you agree with this, Fred? And yeah. technically speaking, news number two, which technically, oh. let me just say this. Technical, technically speaking, these may not be technical, like technology related. As they're, right. they're not, they <laughs> technically are news. <laughs> but they are not technically right. that because honestly, it's hard to find exciting tech news right now. But right. one thing that is exciting, Fred, in health news, 14 cattle eye worms removed from an Oregon woman's eye. All right. Yeah. First known case of Thelazia gulosa infected into a human. A 26, and this comes to our friends from sciencenews.org. A 26-year-old woman felt something in her left eye. For days, she couldn't shake the sensation. But this was no errant eyelash or dive bombing oh, oh. A week, A mere week after that first irritation, the Oregon resident pulled a translucent worm about a centimeter long from her left eye. And with that harrowing feat, she became the first ever reported case of a human infested with the cattle eye worm, the Lazia gulosa. Where'd she get it from? Eating cow uh, ass. It says, yep, he got it from eating cow ass. <laughs> She, she must said be no. listening to Limp Biscuit. Oh, she loves it. She chocolate starfish all over the place. <laughs> over, the, over 20 days, she and her doctors, she and her doctors, so not just the doctors. I appreciate, she, she, I appreciate that she put the work in on herself. Hey, you yeah. know what? If you're not willing to put the work in, who will, Fred? Uh, Remove 14 uh, worms from her infected eye. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out if there's a reason. Eye. Oh, okay. Well, here you go. Here's why, Fred. Two other thalas, species are known to infect humans however rarely there have been more than 160 cases reported for one species in europe and asia and only 10 cases in north america by oh. a species only found in dogs this new perpetrator was not expected to be seen in humans bradbury says the young woman had been horseback riding near cattle farms in gold beach oregon which may explain her face to face with the fly so i guess it goes from fly face fly the, the worm spends its larval stage in the abdomen of an aptly named face fly, Musca ananalis. As the fly feasts on tears and eye secretions, Sounds it spreads right. the nematoda larvae, which then grow into adult worms. Hmm. Gross. Nasty bitch. Yeah. I know now why you cry. <laughs> yeah, don't be crying. <laughs> cry worms for me. <laughs> don't cry in a cattle horse <laughs> That's right. There's no crying in eye worms. <laughs> well, so that's some news. I have some more, Fred. You ready for the next one? Yeah, give me the third right. one. Right. This is gross. This one, no, this is less. This is more actual attack, sort of. Right. Astronomers have detected the oldest black hole ever observed. <laughs> She's 90 years <laughs> old. Your mom's butt. There's so many jokes that I already tried to go through. Researchers have discovered the oldest black hole ever observed, dating back to the dawn of the universe, and found 
that it is eating its host galaxy to death. Oh. In other news, oh no, I actually wrote something for this. In other news, scientists found the, the oldest known orange hole orbiting around <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> That was I wrote that down. We could have missed that. In, in my last tech news for now, we have other yeah. stuff to talk about, but this is my last. No, oh, I have one more technically speaking, but this is my penultimate technically speaking for this week. Uh-oh. The oldest known fossilized skin, which is 21 million years older than previous examples, has been found by scientists. Researchers have identified a 3D fragment of fossilized skin that is at least 21 million years older than previously described skin fossils. The skin which belonged to an early species of Paleozoic reptile, has pebbled surf- has a pebbled surface and most closely resembles crocodile skin. The oldest example of preserved epidermis, the outer- outermost layer of the skin in terrestrial reptiles, birds, and mammals, yeah. which was an important evolutionary adaptation in the transition to life on land. Mm. In other news... <laughs> in other news, the oldest pair of gay boots. In other news, the scientists found the oldest known <laughs> examples of orange skin orbiting around Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. All right, that's been technically speaking. However, this is a did special. You him, did you no, see him ahead. with the pieces? I saw him. He looked really happy with those pizzas. With the fucking pizzas, man. Yeah. They, they tried to big him up for carrying 12 pizzas. I know. He looked really excited. I've never seen the man that excited, though. Which <laughs> I get. Like, if you're going to, you know, if you're going to jail, 12 pizzas is pretty Yeah. <laughs> it potentially, party. allegedly, Alan. Allegedly. It's a party. <laughs> I'm not say nothing. Yeah, going if to, I could do a Donald Trump jail. impersonation, I would do it right now. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't think he's going to jail. There's no, way, there's no way I go to jail. And if I did go to jail, I would run the prison. I'd be the best inmate ever. Strongest. Down. Strongest. You make the prison, would, you make it, would, it, would you make it beautiful? I'd make it beautiful. Everybody's going to be my bitch. What do you like on uh, pizza there? Nobody's going to get my butt. I like sausages. That's it. Just, just sausages. Whole and sausages. I grab the pizza by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you sound like. It's not. It's like a. It's like Andrew Dice Clay mixed with I don't even know who, and then also a little Donald Trump, like uh, kind of with a little Billy Crystal from a little uh, Billy Crystal from Mad Max. You know, you know, like when the mutton's nice and wait, was Billy Crystal in Mad Max? No, he was in. Princess Bride, he was Mad oh, Max. Okay. Oh, okay. I was Princess like, wait a minute. Bride. I from, did not notice that cameo, <laughs> which is crazy to say. I who really runs the border wouldn't... town? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, who runs the border town? town? Hey. <laughs> it's hot here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, look who it is, ladies and gentlemen. Look who it's it our is. Number one, our number one downloaded episode features this <laughs> special guest. That's standing, right. Standing strong in the wreck. That's what happens. Stronger than ever. Technically speaking. Stronger and more erect and more beautiful than ever. Donald Trump's penis, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Right. <laughs> orange. Oh. He is orange. You got to put that on. Yes. You got to put that hot dog flavored water on him. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, or, or is it Motorola? What do you shoot out? <laughs> no one wants to know. So, Fred, in our last technically speaking technical news support, and this is why a story, and this is why DRP joined the show, of course. Mm, mm-hmm. DRP 2.0, the detachable re- robot penis, DRB. <laughs> That's <with> robot balls. <laughs> PRP is not, he, although he is a robot, apparently his typing skills are not up to par. But Detachable Robot Penis 2.0 has debuted at this year's CES, which is the Consumer Electronics Show. So, <laughs> there you go. Thanks, DRP. And also, Alan, whoever you may be, even though you're off the. Again, we can only afford to have three people on the show at any one time. We don't have the bandwidth. And if we ever have a guest on, we make them pay for their bandwidth. That's exactly it. I'm like, like, Venmo me three bucks and you can come on the show. (laughs) And you're like, what? Three bucks? I'm like, yeah, three dollars and 40 cents. Right. You totally. And we do validate parking. Right. Yes. So 
So DRP, from what we hear, DRP 2.0 is more detachable, more robotic, Uh-oh. and more penis. Penis <laughs> More pen penal 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 phallus like philosophic that is all you say (laughs) how do you say it's all hearsay oh it's all hearsay it's all fake news it's fake news it's all fake news I heard heard DRP 2.0 was was harder Longer and faster. faster. <laughs> now, nobody's harder, longer, and faster than me. And he detaches in half the time. We um, have the technology. We can rebuild him. That's right. <laughs> you, know, you know what? <laughs> you know what was? <laughs> what was the detach? I forgot who you detached. It was it's Electro, wasn't it? It was like Electro, the robot of the future. Yeah, Electro, my arch enemy. I threw him in the trash. <laughs> Just Electro the that robot. Yeah, that's it. Electro the smoking yes. robot. Yes, I think it was smoke. Smoke. Which doesn't help. It doesn't help penises if you smoke. No, it makes them short. It restricts your blood vessels. But right, robots exactly. don't Which have is... blood vessels. Oh. They might have. Does. <laughs> it's all veiny. Yeah, that's it's right. Gross. See the lines on that thing right there? You see the lines? <laughs> Yeah. For those of us who are, or for those of you who are listening at home, God bless you. First of all, again, <laughs> and secondly, what you're not seeing, which you should turn and uh, subscribe to our YouTube at BLC Podcast. Why not? All and right, you'll right. see the detachable robot penis looks like a transformer with a huge robotic penis. That is. I don't look like a transformer with a huge robotic penis. I am a transformer with a huge robotic penis. <laughs> right. But he transforms, so it transforms from a penis into a robot. <laughs> essentially <laughs> which makes perfect sense but it has like a construction style pattern of Constructicon, yeah. things yeah he does kind of look like a destructor caution it's a caution it's right. it's it's saying caution this and detachable robot penis is gonna he's hurt. got peronis disease because it's got a hook right. on the end of it uh, right. oh, that's not peronis disease <laughs> It's, it's per robot's disease. It's a starfish catcher. Starfish catcher. <laughs> You'll enjoy it on the way in, but not oh, on the way out. The butt. Yeah. <laughs> it's barbed for her pleasure. <laughs> it's barbed, not ribbed. No, not ribbed, barbed. Yes, it is ribbed, barbed. It's barbed for her protection. I mean, for her pleasure. For her, yes, for her protection. Anyway, let's talk about 2.0. Yeah, so tell me about it. Tell me about, are you guys, okay, first of all, is he, is he or she, because I don't want to assume the penis is gender, is he or she, (laughs) are they a replacement for you, DRP, or is it just like an alternate version? Like, so, like, you can get an iPhone, right, And or you can get an iPhone Pro, or like an iPhone Pro Max or whatever. And so it's not that it's better. It's just different. Or is this a situation where you're like an iPhone 4 and they're like an iPhone 11? Uh, I am uh, master, the original, the most beautiful, the most obvious, the most ripped. I appreciate that detachable robot penis has become detachable Donald Trump's robot penis. <laughs> I actually really like that that concept that that's where we're taking this. So they all like coming out there and trying to be like me, but they'll never be like me. That's right. They're trying to say penis is great again. I got it. Okay. I need you to say this. All right, detachable robot penis. I need you to say this. I need you to say the fake news stole my erection. The erection was stolen. Yeah, the erection was stolen by fake news. They stole my erection, and I want that makes me laugh. I do. I do. I I appreciate that. That's that's good writing. (laughs) (laughs) Of course, just like everything on the show, we didn't actually write it. So perfect. Yes. Well, DRP, let me ask you a question. I'm making erections great again. (laughs) That you really are. So DRP, you're you know you've been around for a while. Electro debuted in the in like the 1930s. So you you're going on what, almost a hundred years old now. Oh boy! How do you deal 
with the ravages of old age because I played basketball with my son the other day. He threw a pass. I reached out to catch it and threw my back out. <laughs> and now can barely fucking walk for more than 10 steps without pain in my sciatica nerve, oh. which is the worst nerve. <laughs> you gotta be like me. Yeah, get in my ball. Do you, do you stretch or what do you do? Do you okay, I, I stretch. I stretch <laughs> and erect at the same time. Stretch, stretch and stroke. Stretch and stroke. There you go. Stretch, stretch and stroke. stroke. Yeah, I do that. Good nickname for our, our next show that we might do. I do, I do thrusts, you know. Oh, thrusts? Okay, I get that. Yeah, I do thrusts, you know, in a day. All around, yeah. Well, kids, don't forget whatever TRP just said. I don't even fucking know. What he said. <laughs> but I, I wonder if he has a website. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, I am sponsored by the Women's Cattles of America. Go visit detachablerobotpenis.com, which we now own. That's right. <laughs> well, we legitimately own that now. I just yes. bought that demo. Visit Go visit detachablerobotpenis.com to learn more about detachable robot right. penis. It's a stretching. It's, a it's the biggest, website. biggest website that there it's is. It's the biggest website. It's the longest website. It's it's just it's the best. It's the best. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, DRP. We're going to uh, probably let you go away then. <laughs> yeah, we're sorry, but I think I think your erection has gone down. <laughs> the erection's been stolen again. The 2024 erection has been stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Okay, bye, DRB. Love you. Okay, Not enough okay. to hang out with you. Okay. Bye -bye. Nice to see you again, DRP. Okay. Uh, keep it hanging and uh, sure. keep it slanging. Slanging and hanging, baby. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. All right, bye. <laughs> So that that was the attachable robot penis who was not leaving. <laughs> he's still just he's just here now. That's fine. He's just gonna hang out. What is wanging out? Linger. He's gonna <laughs> leave. Yeah, exactly. He's hanging out with his wanging out. <laughs> well, Fred, I have one last thing before we leave today, okay, and it might be the most minute. important thing that we've talked about on this show entirely. And if the attachable robot penis doesn't leave, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick him in the dick. I'm gonna there he is. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he enjoyed that joke apparently robo enjoyed it <laughs> so fred yeah get the graphic off the screen producer uh fred <laughs> there we go thank you so much uh fred are you aware oh you son of a bitch of a little thing called <laughs> sriracha yeah i had some today did you did you have <laughs> koi fung sriracha is that the one, one with, with the rooster on it, on it. yeah yeah that's exactly well, what Fred, I you may or may not know this. Oh, there's a huge cancer? controversy. No, you wish. No, you don't wish that. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, I don't know what happened there. Uh, there's a huge controversy going on with Hoi Fung or Huoi Fung Sriracha Hoi. right now. Oh, no. In 20, July of 2020, the company sent an email to customers saying it was experiencing a shortage of the jalapeno chili peppers that are the main ingredient of the sauce. I remember right. you, you. Right. We talked about, about this because right. the people in the town close to where the factory was complained about you could smell the chili in the air and blah, 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 and a bunch mm -hmm. of bitches, bunch of Karens, whatever. Who can't? If, right. you, if you don't like chili, don't live near a factory that makes chili sauce. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, that's not the point. So that happened in, in 2020. Then 2022... In April, it reiterated the problem in a statement to its customers, saying they just haven't been able to source the hot peppers that they wanted. Big deal, right? Right. So, but however, turns out that may not be the case. Oh. That's right. Some feng shui going on. The real reason that they had a shortage of 
red jalapeno peppers uh -huh. my fingers they look so weird yeah, I see. uh is because people sticking them on their butts that people have been sticking them on their butts no so here's the problem they decided they didn't want to pay underwood ranches which is the farm that solely grew the red peppers for Sriracha. right yeah so they decided that they 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 wanted to pull back because they thought they i guess they cost too much or whatever they try, nah, they're trying to squeeze them out right they're trying to squeeze them and get all the money for you yeah right the whole thing yeah. so they took them to court underwood ranch took them to court Mm. And won twenty three million dollars to recoup the damage okay. because so they were a farm. <laughs> no, so they were a farm before, like a like a just a farm that right. had to grow jalapenos. Yeah. Then they over time, because of the, Sriracha's popularity, they became solely a jalapeno farm. Right. Right. And then Hoi Fung said that they had been overpaying for their crops since twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. so they decided they were gonna uh they basically felt like the over over underwood ranch screwed them out of some money so they decided they were gonna find another supplier and um they basically decided to sue them for, for, for what they were saying they overpaid right and of course when they did that that was a breach of contract mm -hmm. from from hoi fong and so they got countersued yeah and while they were doing that they found new farmers even though they had already made an agreement for the 2017. This is, you know, a couple years ago now, mm -hmm. 2017 crops. Of course, you know, everything has to be, it's, you know, I mean, supply chain, man, it's a few years. So in the end, Underwood farms won a $23 million judgment from a jury. And he also, but he did have to pay $1.5 million back to Hoi Fung because they said they, they slightly, they did slightly overpay for the product at that time. Right. So what you're going to find out, is now if you go and buy sriracha, hoi fung sriracha on the shelves, it is back. They are back in production. However, the controversy is that it doesn't taste the same. Right. And most people agree that it tastes like shit now. Yeah. Because they are no longer they're, they're getting using the, the same peppers. They outsource the peppers. Right. Now they're using peppers. So it used to say on the back of it, made with peppers grown in California. Right now, it just says made, basically made with peppers. Right, or grow. I think maybe grown in the U.S. So now they're getting theirs from some farms in California, some in New Mexico, and some in Mexico. Right. However, all those areas have been su suffering from a drought over the past few years, mm -hmm. so it's damaged their crops, and they haven't really been doing real great. So, Underwood Farms, who has had, who is apparently in one of the most water rich parts of California. Right. Like right by the river so they can grow you know no they haven't they've had no none of these issues Rio Grande. perhaps <laughs> uh, so they have not had these issues so what they've done instead is they have developed their own line of sriracha <laughs> that's right fred underwood farm sriracha exists and i have ordered two bottles of it unbeknownst to my wife because oh. uh, I didn't want to let her know I just spent ten dollars a bottle on sriracha, <laughs> but I did, and there it's on the way to me right now. Hopefully, it'll be here by next week, and I can't wait to review it on the show. Good for they, you. they probably couldn't do that while they're going through the the lawsuit, but now that the right over, now they can just right you know, sell it. Or while I was on the contract <clears> too, right? And, and that's the you, thing. You so now the contract is over. Sriracha, the sriracha company, you. I'm pretty sure it's in the contract. You can't right. produce your own sriracha. Yeah, um, so right. I mean, and that would make sense. Like, no, you right. can't, if you're going to be, you know, we're going to be your, your, your our your sole supplier, right? Right. Yeah. We're buying your peppers. You can't right. make your own sauce. So the word is that the Underwood farm sriracha is, or Underwood ranch sriracha is supposed to be really good. A little sweeter than the traditional sriracha they're used to, but mm -hmm. significantly better than the new sriracha that Hoi was Fong. by Hung, Hoi Fung. Yeah. So, that being Dude, said, somebody fucked up. Somebody fucked Big up. Time. Big and time. They are in trouble now. So I'm happy for it. I can't wait uh, to get my new sriracha. What? Fuck them big corporations. I feel the same way. And you know, it's funny because Hoi Fung was not a big corporation. It was started by a dude who just made hot sauce. But then they got and then it got too big and yeah. they, they and took they over the greedy. town. Yeah. They got all that. Don't forget. Fucking greedy. Fuck them. We we do now own detachablerobotpenis.com. 
There yeah. you go. So that you actually happened. So yeah. You can go to that. Yeah, no, he, gonna... and, and for what I understand, and now that oh. he, uh, now that that, that that we own it, uh, I think the Tetrable Roy Pino said he's going to do a blog and stuff every month. And... Oh, I'd love for him to do that. I, I feel like he own, won't. I think we own DRP now. That's right. We are. We do. Not 2.0. I'm going to have to buy that too. So <laughs> we can only afford, we can only afford original detachable robot penis. Yeah. The original is the best. Me. It's like KFC. Original is the right. best. Yeah. Right. Fuck this extra crispy DRP. <laughs> we love ours original style. <laughs> so yeah. So that's the word. That's what's going on. Sriracha sucks now. And Underwood Ranch Sriracha is the best. I think yeah. that's can't crazy. wait to get it. And try it. It's coming all the way from the state of California. Put it in your mouth, Matt. Straight to well, my that's mouth. where the other one came from. So it's like, true. I can't it's believe true. they fucked up like that. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, again, greed is going to do that to you. It's crazy to me that they were like, "We overpaid you 1.5 million. So now, are we overpaid 1.5 million? So right. now we have to pay you 23 million because we broke our contract with you." Yeah, and 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 all the losses after that, right? You know they're going to lose right. a lot more than one point five, even after they pay no. the money. Oh yeah, because they lost, they were gone. You know they were off the market for a number of years. I mean, like for like yeah. a year, you couldn't find that's that sriracha, like the, the, the real the rooster. I remember you were saying like places right. where, it, like if you had an unopened bottle, they buy it from hundred dollars. Some places, yeah. yeah, some places offered free food and shit for, for a bottle yeah. of sriracha. It's crazy. Right. So, like I said, next week I hope to have my Parker reviews some sauce, and I'm not going to buy. See, now this is where I'm. This is where I have an issue, Fred, because I don't know if I should buy a bottle of. Wait, I have a bottle downstairs. I have a bottle downstairs of the new Hoi Fung Sriracha, and guess what? It's remained almost full because it tastes weird. Oh, the new one. Yeah, the new one. New one. Yeah. Okay, I was about to say you should do. Well, you can still do that. You could do like a make somebody else pour it, right? And oh, and do a taste, taste test. and do a taste, taste test on which one's better, A I'll or be B. To, if I can, and then, if I can pull my lovely wife off the the case that she's investigating currently, yeah. Murder was the case that they gave her. I tried. To, I actually tried. So, so just my wife probably will hear this and tell me not to do this. My wife is investigating. Is a she's. I tried to convince her just to become a superhero, right? Because I was like, she needs. She feels like someone's been slighted, and she wants justice to be served, right? And and if that's not the origin for a superhero, what is? Right, right. Well, that, that's what she needs to come in. That's and, what and I when, said. When it's all said and done, then she can do her back door she closet wants, story. Yeah, she wants to do. I told her she should do a podcast to blast there this guy go. that she's investigating. And I, she was like, "We should," and I was like, "No, no, no not we." No. <laughs> no. Yeah, well no, and I told her the reason for that is because as you may may or may not know, I can't help myself. So I'm going <laughs> yeah. to try and make fun of it. You're clowning, it, yeah. To the best yeah. of my abilities. Yeah, yeah. Which is not great, but it's to the best of my abilities, right? <laughs> right. And so I was like, you need someone serious. Like someone who actually is gonna like like her. And I can't do like the like the there's a true crime mystery. Yeah. The guy stole all the shit <laughs> from those motherfuckers. <laughs> what a scam. <laughs> what a scam. Chainas. Scammer man. Oh, Chainas. Chocolate starfish. <laughs> 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 She's not going to like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get out of here. Uh, wrap that it up. Note, let's kill ourselves. All right. Good night, wrap it up, D. We'll see you next week. L. See you guys, BS. See you later. Oh, I thought we were doing like a chant. Oh, That's what we do at the end of basketball. I'm like, one, two, three, something. Let's do no, one, two, wait. three. Be on I do no, 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 no chant, man. Put You're in trouble. Up. You're in trouble on your own. Put, the, put yeah. your hands in. There you go. All right, yeah. Man. Put your hand in. One, three, one, two, three. Celtics. I mean, it's BLC podcast. BLC podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like the podcast. Good night, Good night everybody. <laughs> we are laughing. <laughs> and we are very good friends. <laughs> good buddies sharing a special moment. <laughs>
<laughs> well, that's all, folks. Hasta la vista, baby. Goddamn hit. Don't worry, nobody's listening anyway. As you know, I'm a man of special needs. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley.